Hi guys, this is Lucas, your Kartra coach, your Kartra friend, your Kartra consultant. So you might be wondering how the heck you create a calendar in Kartra. You feel lost, you don't know how to do it, you go to my calendars and you simply can't configure it because you don't know it. Well, I'm here to solve your life. I will explain you how to create a calendar and set it up very easily and very quickly. Okay, the first thing that you need to do when you are creating a calendar in Kartra is to know how is uh, the logic behind it. The first thing that you need to know is that every calendar, any calendar you create needs a form. And a form, by definition in Kartra, requires a confirmation page or a success page. Therefore, if you want to create a, a calendar, you will need a form. And since you will need to create a form, by definition, you also need a page. So if you want to apply a step-by-step -step methodology, the first thing that you need to do is to build a page. The second thing that you need to do is build a form and finally, we'll build the calendar. So let's get right into it. So we're in Kartra right now. I'm under my pages. I hit this green box here and hit uh, create new page. I'm going to simply click a thank you page. Uh, and I'm not going to edit anything. I'm just going to create the page for the sake of creating. I hit select and then launch builder. And the name is going to be calendar confirmation page. And now I hit create. Okay, now the, the page has loaded. I'm not going to make any addition, any changes to this. I'm just going to publish live. And then close. And finally, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Now that my page is created, I'm going to create a form. So I go to my forms. And click the green button over here. There is a plus form, which is create new form. And the name is going to be calendar form. Okay, so now I'm in the form configuration. You might already know this from the PPMS method training, the second video I created, which stands for the first P of the PPMS pages. In that video, I show you how to configure a form. So uh, I'm going to skip this progress. But before doing that, I'm going to show you what I would add since I'm making a, a, I'm booking a call. So this is the form fields. I want to add a phone. Uh, I want them to make. Uh, I want to make them add their phone number, so I simply hit new field and select phone with country code. Then I make it mandatory, phone number, hit save. And I want the call to action to be save and then save. So now that is, I have the film created, I go to save a net. And under confirmation, I will choose the, the single opt-in. The success page is going to be the page I have just created, which is the calendar confirmation. I hit save. And the rest is exactly the same as in the pages video. The calendar um, app. I'm going to host it on a Kartra calendar, so I hit save, the standard uh, configuration, form design is Kartra, and I'm done. I, the, the form is already created. So I've just created the page and now the form, so the final step is creating my calendar, which is probably the most interesting part of this video. So I go to my calendars, I hit here, and I will hit again this green box, which is pretty obvious right now, and I'm going to put, I'm going to use the consultant model. In fact, um, if you happen to, if you feel curious and want to see my consultant funnel, I use exactly this same model. This same model. So please check the link below or in the description of this video. I'm gonna hit the consultant model and then create calendar. Simply that, create, create. So I'm now in the calendar configuration. As you may see. As you, as you may notice, this is, has several stages, as like in my products, uh, in my forms, uh, my membership. That you have like different stages, and you will need, and you will, in which you will need to move forward. Here in header logo, I have my logo already uh, inserted here automatically. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna choose um, here. You can upload your image, and here you have like a recommended uh, image size if you wanna make some custom editions. If not, you can choose among several options. 
here that Kartra offers. In my personal opinion, they suck, with all due respect, of course. So I'm going to choose no, do not display any marquee at all. I hit save. And then I'm going to let my user select the respective time zone because it's easier for them. Uh, you want to book a call based on your time. You don't care what the consultant time is. So I hit save here. And then this is very important. This is the schedule, uh, the schedule part. Here you, you choose many things that I'm going to show you right away. I hit yes, I understand. You can read it out if you want. So the class title is the um, booking, the, the call name for say. In this case, I'm going to say it's called book a call with Lucas. And in the class description, you simply say what it's about. In this case, it's a free 45 minute call with me. And now I can choose the team member, the, the trainer or coach who is like hosting this, this event. In this case, I'm just alone here. I'm like Batman. I work solo. Uh, I hit add. This session, if I said 45 minutes, the most logical here is to put 45 minutes. And available hours, you have like by default all every day of the week selected. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna include Saturday and Sunday. And remember that Kartra works with uh, Eastern time. So this, this time frames here are Eastern time. So I'm in Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is GMT minus three. Easter time is general is typically minus GMT minus four. So if I really want to offer from nine to five, what I will need to do here is actually um, delay delay the time for one hour because for my nine my nine a.m. is the eight a.m. of the Eastern time because I'm one hour ahead of them. So I simply click on the clock here and select eight to in this case sixteen if I want to make it until. Uh, my 5 5 p.m. my time and the same process i'm going to you will need to repeat it for every the, the remaining days i'm not going to do that right now if you have doubts on the um, conversion you simply go here on the pencil which says edit and you can translate the eastern time that you can choose here to whatever time you want to translate to uh number of section is one minimum booking notice i'm gonna don't i'm not going to allow same day booking and then I'm gonna choose is free of course I'm not gonna charge anyone for my calls and then I have to choose the form in this case it's a calendar form remember you have just created it for this for calendar purposes so I have already set up everything and now I hit save next step is communication which is so here you define if you want to send them an email right away after they book a call with you and reminder which I highly recommend you doing so in this case, you have to choose the, the email gateway. If you have watched the PPMS method, you already know how to do this. Uh, in this case, by default, it's, it's uh, appearing my Gmail account. Uh, and here I have my Kartra.com, uh, which is not my account, but it's not my email, of course. This is Kartra. But remember that the directions here should be exactly the same. So I have to do this, or I have to choose my, my personal domain. I haven't bought... I haven't paid my, my email, but I will soon, please bear with me. Uh, just make sure that the, the address here is exactly the same. I hit save. And now that I created this, I have like the booking confirmation message. This is sent immediately after um, uh, the, the lead has resist, registered to your calendar. And you have by default um, definition which says congratulations, your, can, your calendar booking is confirmed. Here's a quick summary. And now you here you have like dynamic variables related to calendar. Remember that if you remember from the PPMS method training, the membership video, uh, you have dynamic variables for, for membership like login page, uh, login email, and, and password. Here you have exactly the same but for calendars. So for instance, the event is the calendar class name. So in this case, we have defined the, the book a session with Lucas, or I don't remember what I, what I put. We will find out very quickly. Uh, hosted by, this is the calendar coach. In this case, it's going to be me, Lucas Salamo. Next appointment is the date and time of the uh, of the call. And here you'll get the, um, if the, when the, and below it says, if you would like to review your booking settings, our calendar available times, this is the calendar page here. Um, and there you have like the calendar URL, which I'm going to show you right now, which is uh, what that is. 
uh, the login email, which is the email that they can choose to, uh, to log into the calendar, and the password. And then see you at the appointment. Of course, I will recommend you to modify this to match your wording and add some more personalization. For the sake of this video and for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to leave it like that. I hit edit. And then I can uh, configure, of course, I have to hit save over here. And I can choose email reminders. I can choose either do not send any reminders or yes, send a reminder. Um, I'm going to, of course, choose to create one reminder one hour before the event. And here I have, of course, another, another generic message. One thing very important. Um, you might want to have this call by phone. You actually call the lead. Or you might want to host it on Zoom or Skype or whatever. Make sure to include the link. Make sure to include the link in the link in this communication so that the lead knows how you are gonna contact him or how to contact you. So in this case, I'm not putting anything, but make sure that if you wanna uh, make them hop in your Zoom session, include the link. I'm gonna hit save over here, and I'm very close to finish the setting up process. Permissions, you can allow cancellation and session approval. It's instant approval. And yes, I want to allow cancellations. I hit save over here. Help desk, if you have a help desk created, I haven't reached, I haven't created that video, but I might soon. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to hit no. Um, here I have the, the same automation that you saw in the forms. Um, here I'm not going to do any changes to this, but I might recommend you if you have like different types of calls. For instance, people can book you for business calls. Um, other people can book you for con for coaching calls that are already paid or were that are paid or were really paid for. You might want to create different classes and create tags for um, this calendar. So you can use the same form, but different calendar classes, and you can tag them. And you don't need to create different forms for every class you have to create. This is extremely useful. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm not gonna touch anything here. I'm gonna hit save and next, and I'm done. Here's the link to the calendar. This is actually the calendar URL. In this case, I'm going to hit edit URL and I'm going to uh, put a calendar demo. I'm going to call this page. And after I hit the tick over here to the right, I have saved my link. And now I'm going to go to this calendar page to see how this works. So I click, I select this uh, URL link and then I hit go to and now. I'm going to my calendar page. So, as it was magic, here I have my calendar page. It says book a call with me, 345 coaching call with Lucas, one session, 45 minute duration. Here is my beautiful face over here. And I can choose uh, from the available time slot. Um, remember, I can, uh, I'm not allowing, um, I'm actually allowing, yes, I'm actually allowing Sunday booking. So I'm going to hit an available time frame, let's say tomorrow, today is Wednesday, I'm going to allow for Friday to be booked at 5 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. I hit the green click over here, the green tick, sorry. And now I have to fill in my data in the form I created. This is actually the form I created before. It's already pre-filled, so I'm going to hit uh, book your call. And I get to the calendar confirmation page, which is this one, which I created at the beginning of this video. So I should have received an email, so I'm going to check my email inbox. And voila, and voila, here is my email that says your booking is confirmed. Congratulations, your calendar booking is confirmed. Here's a quick summary event, book a call with me, hosted by Lucas Talamo. Our uh, next appointment is uh, August 9th. 2019 at 7 at 5 p.m. If you like to review your booking settings or calendar available dates, etc., visit the calendar page here, which is the link I had, have previously edited. I can click over here, and if you pay close attention here, I have a login email and a login password. So I'm returning to the calendar page, but pay attention to this. If I hit this icon over here at the bottom right, at the top right, sorry, I can log into the calendar and I can log in with these credentials. My email, which I used to um, book my call, and a password, which is this one, of course, 
automatically generated I hit login and I can actually review my bookings here make changes to it and so forth so now I'm in the portal and you might feel confused because I can book another time over here but if you want to review your um, if you want to review your bookings uh, you hit my profile over here and then you go to my events and here I can see the as a user not as Lucas Salamo as a user who book Lucas Salamo and I can either um, uh, cancel a subscription or show sessions here I click this here and I see the session I have and I can cancel the appointment right here so well folks this was it I hope you liked the the video uh, don't forget to like it leave me your comment below your questions below and if you don't if you haven't watched the ppms method yet please um go ahead and watch it because it's going to help you create funnels from scratch very easily very quickly and also if you are a consultant or a business coach or want to apply sam ovens or andrew Agui, which are extremely successful consultant business model and have your business automated check the consultant funnel and the four bit done for you that i'm uh, that I have launched this week and I'm sure that you uh, are going to find it very useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time. Stay tuned.